I, the moment I stopped with my competition or challenge pick, I started making my mini and within a couple of hours I had my mini pretty well done. I was excited because I've never done an envelope mini, but I did use my envelope maker. And I wanted to show you how I did it. I don't know if any of you have it or if you were thinking about it, but you can choose the size of the envelope, which then creates the size of your mini. I'll show you a quick glimpse at what I've done so far on my little mini. It turned out really, really cute. And I will turn the camera around so that I can put it above and you can see it better. So this is my little mini and I was trying to think of a closure for it. The idea sort of started with Stephagal1 on YouTube, her name's Steph, and she put together these little mini books, which I'll post the video, just so that the link so that you can see. Um, and she's showing you how to, out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper, make a quick cover, and then the inside gives you all these little spaces to attach things, like a binding. And it's a really simple little binding book. But I took it and made it smaller and then made my envelopes with my envelope maker and created pockets, which I stuck to that accordion like file system. And so all my little pockets are like this. I stuck one on the back and one on the front. And it is so simple and it went together really quickly. And I thought this would be a really cute way to uh, hold it closed by putting my little camera on the front. So I want to show you how I made the actual envelope. Now to make a three by four envelope, I think that's what I went with. Look. A three by four starts with a six by six piece of paper. Okay, get this in camera. So a three by four size envelope. So it says here, three by four, you start at two and five eighths. So it's pretty simple. You just look up two and five eighths, right there. Teeny weeny little writing, but you, it tells you exactly where it is. You punch first and you score. Then with your next one, your score line is where you line it up not with the number that they gave you. So you line this little line. I don't know if you can see it from there. There's a little thing that sticks out. And from there, you line it up with your score line. You punch and you score all the way around all four sides. There's lots of stuff that you can do with one of these punch boards. I'm quite amazed at the things that are on YouTube of what you can make. You can make bows with this. You can make envelope, coin envelopes. You can do all sorts of things and it really depends on how you fold it. So now I've got the shape of my envelope. And with my little one that I did, I glued that flap down. That's gonna be the top flap. So I glued that down. Right, and then this one I glued along the edge so that it would give me, oops, so that it would give me a space to be able to put back there. I didn't want to attach it completely. I'll show you. I'll just do it, and then it's easier to understand. So for this one, I stuck it down. Right. Then this one, I put glue here, I put glue here, and you know what, it just takes practice, you just do it a few times. This one I just did halfway up, and then I folded that side over, and then on this one, I did an L shape, I did it halfway up the second side, and the whole way down. And then when I folded this over, it created a pocket. It's just one of the flaps of the envelope is folded in and glued down. So basically it's the same as an envelope, but 
the top side. You could easily do it the other way. You could make it lengthwise and glue the top flap in and have that as your opening and make your pages go this way. So just an idea. So I just want to give out ideas. And so it turned out really good. I made a whole bunch of these, which would make great little spots to put journaling in on any mini. And it's a great and easy way to use up six by six pads or to cut up your 12 by 12 into six or four pieces of six by six. Easy, easy. But I just thought I'd show you what I've done so far. I'm going to continue on and I'll finish it and post a picture. Bye.